great. Um, thank you so, so much for taking a little bit of time to chat with me. Uh, so I'm going to give you a little bit of an intro um, for those who are watching. This is Courtney. She uh, was a student from my very first Modern Calligraphy 101 online course. Um, it's a beginner calligraphy course. It's six weeks of guided instruction and lots of worksheets and lots of videos and just all the information you need to get started in pointed pen calligraphy. Um, and I was just super, super impressed with Courtney's, I mean, her calligraphy is just stunning. And um, I really wanted to talk to her about how her experience was with the course, where she was sort of before this and what she got out of the course. So I'll stop there. Um, and I'll let <laughs> Courtney uh, introduce herself a little bit, just like briefly where you're from. So um, like you said, I'm Courtney. I'm actually from Georgia. So I'm all the way on the opposite side um, of the states over here. Um, I got into calligraphy because all of my friends seemed to be getting married, having babies, um, except for me, of course. Yeah. Uh, so everybody would ask me, hey, you've got the prettiest handwriting. Could you, you know, address our envelopes or make signs or anything like that? And, and I started just dabbling with some calligraphy pens and it started off with a fountain calligraphy pen because okay, I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. I was just like, okay, this seems like the easier route to take. Cause I tried to do, you know, pointed pen with the nib and everything. And I just was not good at it at first. So what was it like, tell me a little bit more about having trouble with pointed pen when you were trying that out on your own. What was hard about it? Um, I, honestly everything. I didn't know if I was dipping it right, if, you know, because I didn't know all about, you know, the vent hood in that top part and yeah. what all, like, did I have to actually sink the nib all the way into, you know, <laughs> the whole thing or um, just the tip of it? I, I didn't know that. And then how, pretty much just how to hold the pen. I think I was holding it too much up right like yeah. that, you know, down on the paper. Yeah. And I didn't know, you know, the angles and how to utilize those tools the best. And I guarantee you, I would have never figured out that I, if you get brand new nibs, you need to wash them with soap and water. <laughs> I guarantee you, I did not know that <laughs> little trick at first and I would have learned the hard way. Yeah, so. it seems really simple, but there's like all these little things that could go wrong. <laughs> like yeah. every step of the yeah. way. Um, and some people yeah. don't really get through that, but then some people let's give up. And that's what I do. <laughs> to like for people to give up out of frustration. So um, right. how was the course experience for you once you were all signed up and in it? Oh my gosh, I loved it. Like I said, I have type A personality and so I like order and organization and I felt like it had that from A to Z. I mean, I liked that it was structured, but then it also provided a lot of, um, you know, flexibility because life happens and, yeah. you know, it, it was nice to kind of have at your own pace, but at the same time, you had the structure there, you know, so that's what I really liked was, you know, you would, if you submitted your project in on time, you got the feedback and the positive, you know, the construct, constructive criticism mm -hmm. that you provided. Um, that was a big, you know, like motivator boost to get that project in on cool. time. Okay. Um, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That so was cool. that was a, um, a motivating factor was definitely just sort of getting your project in and getting the feedback. How was the, the community and the Facebook group and all of that? I liked it. I used um, the Facebook um, messenger and stuff a couple times, I think, because mm -hmm. Um, I had some questions about, you know, where, where did you get your pen holder? Cause somebody else had a really awesome pen holder and she yeah. told me it was, you know, where it was from. And oh, cool. um, I, I think we had asked or somebody had asked, um, about paper, you know, mm -hmm. where to get certain type of craft paper. Yeah. And so it was nice to see those things. Cause you know, even though I didn't ask, I was interested. Or... Yeah. Awesome. Um, so did you see a big difference in your calligraphy beginning and then uh, at the end? Hands down, I did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, I mean, it, it's funny because I was looking back on old projects, you know, when I, when I was using a fountain pen compared to recent wedding um, envelopes I had done after the course was done. And I was like, oh, I feel kind of bad that I did it that way before. <laughs> you know? I definitely could could tell a difference hands okay. down. Um, so tell yeah. me a little bit more about the, the wedding envelopes that you recently did. Oh my gosh. Um, I actually just finished a batch and that's probably something I'll ask your feedback on is like time management. Um, <laughs> because it was a large order. It was, 
I think it came to 454 um, outers and inners. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. So I answered just thinking look, about that. <laughs> envelopes have been great. I think um, because it's like as soon as I get done with one project, uh -huh. another one comes around. And oh. so I don't feel too overwhelmed, like too many projects at one time. If I could do it full time, I absolutely would. Um, but I do work full time with an IT company. I know that you can relate to the corporate world yeah. <laughs> and then trying to find your creative outlet. Um, but that's what I'm, I'm just doing it on the side. Like I said, it was mm -hmm. therapeutic for me and it um, just seems to help with some of the stress until you get, you know, an order like 450 plus. Yeah. Are, you getting, are you getting paid for these jobs? I am. Yay! Um, go, go. And I actually, <laughs> I know, right? Um, and I have, you know, whenever I took the course and I saw the difference between how much better it got, I was like, okay, I kind of feel a little bit more confident to charge more. Awesome. <laughs> the people pay, right? Yeah, like, yeah, they are. Like, oh, people will pay me. And right, and then they post, the they post and share the pictures of it and yeah. stuff, and it, that makes me feel so proud. Oh, they, so they loved it? Yes, oh, yeah. Of course they did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So are you just getting um, jobs like word of mouth through friends and... Yeah, through um, either from social media, like my Instagram or Facebook that I have. And the referrals, every you know, some people get the invitations as a guest and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm getting married. Who did your envelopes? And then it just kind of has led down that way. So awesome. it's, yeah, it's okay. been awesome. That means your stuff is good. That's, yay, amazing. <laughs> Just incredible. With your help. Absolutely. Yay. 100%. So cool. So would you say yeah. it was worth the investment, the course? Oh, yes. Would absolutely do it again. Obviously, I'm going to take the intermediate yeah. course. <laughs> <laughs> and um, who would you recommend the course for? Anybody that has any sort of, you know, want to, you know, venture down a creative outlet. I mean, they don't have to have good handwriting like you, you know, you teach that in the course too. I mean, you don't have to have pretty regular handwriting. Anybody can learn it. Um, so that's why I think anybody that's interested or even has the smallest, you know, inkling that they would want to try it, I think they should, you know, I think anybody and everybody. Awesome. And I think especially with your um, example, I mean, a lot of people, um, I think have a sort of a dream of like, I'd love to do that kind of a creative thing and sell it on the side and then maybe one day take it full time. So yeah, this is something that I think, yeah, you invest a little bit and then it like, it totally pays off because now you have this for life, right? And you're Absolutely. Like, yeah. On. And you know, some people, I mean, they might look at the price tag of it and you know, like me, I mean, I'm such a penny pincher and I feel guilty, you know, spending money on myself uh, and I had yourself invest. I know yourself. exactly. <laughs> and that's what I had to, that's what I was telling you in the beginning. You know, I had to think like, no, my goal for 2018 is to dive deep into this and I'm not going to be able to do that unless I am learning from, you know, professional, really somebody that knows what they're doing and can teach you, you know, the proper techniques and stuff like that. I mean, you, you can't teach that yourself if you don't know it. So um, it was, it was an investment that absolutely has paid off. I mean, you know, yeah, leaps and bounds. So awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that's all the questions I have, unless there's anything you want to add. We've already, okay. Love in lettering um, is your <laughs> Instagram and Facebook. And oh, I can't wait to see where you go next. Um, thank you so, so much again for taking the time to talk to me. Um, thank you. And honestly, I mean, thank you for being so transparent when it comes to everything. I have seen, I haven't taken any courses from other instructors, but I have take, I have watched like short clips, whether it's on YouTube or something, you know, that they posted on their website. And I, I'm just going to say that a lot of other ones are like super boring and just like, <laughs> What they don't um, I'm not going to name any names and you don't have to use this, you know, <laughs> but I'm just saying your course adds a whole lot more of spunk to it. And I think that's, yeah. you know, super important at the same time to keep people interested and it works. I mean, everything you're doing so far, it's awesome. Oh, thank you really. so much. That's something I was totally aiming for. Nincompoop will show up in your worksheets. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for fun surprises like that. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. Um, thank you so much, Courtney.